Summer may be over, but the fun continues on Cape Cod. Now, this weekend is the Cape Cod Brew Fest, the 11th annual celebration of American craft brewers, bringing together more than 50 breweries. So joining us now, Matt Gray, president of Gray Matter Marketing, which hosts this fest, and Mark Hedges, the head of Willie's Super Brew. So first off, Matt, tell us about this event. Sure, Liam. Um, so the Cape Cod Brew Fest, as you said, is a celebration of craft beer. We have a lot of uh, small businesses all around New England participating in this uh, festival. Uh, it's food trucks, live music, just a lot of fun on a Saturday on the Cape. And Mark, uh, Willie's Super Brew is really also about hard seltzer. So this has really caught on in the last few years. Why did you want to be part of this event in the first place, seeing as how you're cider? But also um, tell us a little bit about what you do. Right. So um, for us, the Cape Cod uh, Brew Fest is a great opportunity just to interact with our customers and and share you know what we've been doing lately and and get their you know get their feedback. And it's always great just to get out in this business and interact with people. So we're definitely excited about that. Um, you know, today we've brought uh, three of what we call our trusted friends. Um, <laughs> our uh, this is our original product we created: our ginger, lemon, and turmeric. So it's wow. actual real minced ginger and real lemon juice. We only use real ingredients. In, in every one of our products. And then our, our Juicy Hazy Hoppy is a combination of m mango and pineapple wow. meets citra wow. mosaic hops. So it's kind of like your, your, your favorite IPA goes and finds some fruit friends and blends this great citrusy, juicy, you know, hazy product. And uh, that's a, a fan favorite. And then our Mango Tango is, uh, it's kind of like, we call it the dance of flavors. It's mango and passion fruit and lime. And, and uh, you know, Juicy Mango Tango is the name. And, um, um, these are our three that we brought back in the market. We have a lot of other recipes, but we're going to be sampling these this weekend and giving the customers a chance to, to again, re-interact re Hard seltzers are getting pretty popular, mm. right? I mean, why yeah. do you think people like hard seltzers are sort of turning towards that? Right. You know, it's really about, um, for the consumer today, it's about flavor. You know, they, they want things that taste great. Um, they want things that have, like, real ingredients, and, and they want that exploration and discovery. And seltzer is a, a great alternative because it, it gives you great flavor it gives you that adult beverage um, yet in many cases it's very sessionable and very drinkable that you can share with your friends and that's where seltzers have become a great alternative to other beverages and Willie's was nearly a victim of the pandemic but you helped save the brand. Why was that so important to you? Um, you know, I think it first started with our fans. We have one great, loyal, very persistent, very vocal fans who were just like, hey, we we miss, this was our favorite seltzer. It was the best tasting seltzer. Mm -hmm. We had won a bunch of awards and our fans just kept reaching out saying, can you get back in? And so our, our group, uh, you know, we, we didn't want to let them down. And, and then, as I would mentioned, we just felt that too many consumers want great taste and want real ingredients. And that's what we're all about. So we were excited to fight our way through and, and make it back. Let's talk about this weekend. This really is more than just let's go try some beer, right? It's really kind of bringing the community together. Talk a little bit about sort of the mission and why you guys do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime you have a festival, you're, you're looking to celebrate, uh, enjoy uh, time with friends, family, bring people together. Uh, this event also does benefit the Barnesville County uh, Fairgrounds. They are the recipient of a uh, a large donation for this. So we try to give back to the community while we're having a good time. So this is Saturday, Falmouth at the Barnesville County Fairgrounds. Go have some fun. How do you get tickets? Uh, just uh, CapeCodBrewFest.com. You can find all the information details there, a list of all the great breweries that are going to be participating, and uh, that's where you can order your tickets. The weather looks pretty good. Just mm -hmm. guys, avoid the Bourne Bridge maybe. Go on the yeah. side cut <laughs> over. You know, it's down to one lane. But guys, thank you. Uh, Matt Mark, thanks for coming yeah, in, and good luck this weekend uh, at the Cape Cod Brew Fest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Final check of our poll. Confidence in the Patriots so far. General consensus, not so confident. 58% <laughs> of you say no confidence, which means that next weekend, let's just go do this. Yeah, let's drink <laughs> instead. Let's yeah. drink at the Cape Cod Brew Fest. And, and you've got all kinds of options, including non-alcoholic options, Matt. Yeah, we have over 50 uh, breweries there, and we do have uh, seltzers and and. and ginger beers, as well as non-alcoholic offerings. Um, the, the craft beer market has really exploded and changed so dynamically in the last 10 years that mm. now it, it does apply to all these different uh, beverage options. Yeah. Look and look nice at that. that. What is this right here? Let me yeah. smell. Wow, smell that. That's really you can good. Smell the mango. The, yeah, it's, you can mango, smell the real fruit. Mango. Wow. wow. And uh, just uh, and it's we keep it the nice cloudy color. It'll and, make uh, you real happy about the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs>